Hello everyone. I'm going to uh, hopefully demonstrate a cheap and dirty way to measure your RPM if you don't have a tachometer. Um, first I want to show what the speed is according to my controller here. Hopefully this will come out. It's reading about just about 2800 RPM. 2792. 28 45. Jumping around a little bit. And that's due to the controller. So around 2800 RPM. I confirm that with my handheld tack here. Okay. Now I'm just going to shut off the video for a moment and I'm going to set up and show you how to Okay, so what I've got here on the computer screen, and I know this probably isn't going to come out very well, and I apologize, I should really get some screen capture software, but it is as it is at the moment. Um, I've got this software, it's free software, it's called VA Visual Analyzer 2011, if you Google that. Um, it's just doing a spectrum analysis of the audio that's coming in and what I've got. So I've got a speaker sitting right there. And a coil right there. And then all you have to do is center in on that peak right there. This peak right here. And you can't see the tip, but it's gonna be right around in there. And you also probably can't read that. It says in the right hand corner of the spectrum analyzer right there, it says 180. So I know I've got four magnets in there and I've got to divide that by four. So uh, I don't have a calculator handy. Of course. Let's see. Got the calculator here. We do one eight zero divided by four. That's forty five. Then we gotta multiply that by sixty. You can see the multiplication times. 60 equals 2700 RPM and I'm reading right now 2788 on my controller so that's real close so with some free software PC which most everyone has that's doing YouTube videos I'm assuming and a microphone you can set yourself up to do an RPM measurement for a pulse motor with a little bit of math. Thanks for watching.